presence with thanksgiving in your heart and give him praise and give him praise come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart your voice is raised your voice is raised give glory and honor St. Ignatius Loyola. All of us are in some way connected with the Jesuits and the Jesuits are St. Ignatius's gift to the church. We are either been Jesuit students in a school or college or Jesuit parishioners or we have friends as Jesuits or members of the family who are Jesuits and today is the day to give thanks to God and to celebrate Ignatius as a God's gift to his church. So I want you all to join me in this Eucharist which we are about to celebrate. Give thanks to God for the Jesuits in our lives and pray for them and for their needs. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you and with you also. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist worthily Today, the Feast of St. Ignatius. You were sent to heal the contrite Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us sing the praises of God together.
Let us pray. Lord, in your providence, you guided St. Ignatius to found the Society of Jesus. Enrich it, we pray, with gifts of heart, mind, and spirit. Make us all one with you in holiness and love, so that we may know your will and obey it as your faithful servants. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, See, I have set before you this day life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, by loving the Lord your God, by walking in His ways, and by keeping His commandments and His statutes, and his ordinances, you shall live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you are entering to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them, I declare to you this day that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land which you are going over the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life, that you and your descendants may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying His voice and cleaving to Him. For that means life to you and length of days that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob to give them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For your response, kindly listen to the choir. Blessed is the man who ponders the law of the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, who ponders his law day and night. Our response? like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Not so are the wicked, not so. Our response? stand for the gospel. God has spoken to his people. Alleluia. And his words are words of wisdom. Alleluia. God has spoken to his people. of wisdom, alleluia. Open your ears, O oh Christian people, open your ears and hear good news. Open your hearts, O oh royal priesthood, God has come to you. God has spoken to his people, alleluia.
The Lord be with you and with you also. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. It happened that as Jesus was praying alone, the disciples were with him and he asked them, Who do people say that I am? And the answer, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others that one of the old prophets has arisen. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Christ of God. But Jesus charged and commanded them to tell this to no one saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised again. And he said to them all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake, he will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of his Father and of the holy angels. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. We have heard the words of the Gospel. Now let us watch a short video on the Jesuits in Bombay. I was the 100 meters national champion 11 times. I ran for India at the Olympic Games. Senior journalist and author and news presenter. I work in a, a private equity firm. Uh, I'm the CEO there. Today I'm a professor of neurosurgery. I was very fortunate to be a gold medal winner in, in the first Olympic in Moscow. I'm a professor of biology at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. One very important thing that I did it was setting up the tetanus ward. Full-time mother, part-time actor, writer, director. I'm the chairman and chief creative officer of BBDO in India. Former attorney general, retired as a major general of the Indian Army. I'm chairman of the Godrej Group. The Society of Jesus is almost uh, 500 years old now. It was started by St. Ignatius of Loyola and he gathered a group of his colleagues in a university in Paris and they decided to dedicate their lives to the service of God. Later on began to be called the Jesuits. And, uh, 
the constitution of the Society of Jesus, that was really a blueprint of what the Jesuits should be. And education very soon came as one of the major aspects of our work. It effectively laid out the vision that said, education is about four things. You want to build the intellect, you want to build a well-rounded personality, you want to build social responsibility in a student, and then you want to build the spiritual side. And uh, what is special about the education and the constitution is the fact that Jesuits would like to educate every section of human society. So we have maybe about a hundred institutions of higher learning and many hundreds of schools across the country. And uh, from the 80s onwards, we have set up about nine secondary schools in the tribal belt, catering to almost about 15,000 Adivasi students. Because we are trying to build human community and uh, education is a very important key to that. I had a tremendous education in school. I had many extraordinary teachers, learnt a lot from them. We had great teachers. Yes, we had great teachers. 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 We had great
I mean, this is inter schools. And he slapped me across my face. So he says, No, you will win only if you think you can win. If you think you're going to lose, you're going to lose. And I went there and won. And that's when I came into sport. And then that winning became a part of life. And I was the, probably the only guy who was not scared at the starting line. My parents realized that I was nearing the final years in school and they felt that I should be more serious about studies. They stopped me going from training and uh, Father Juan, he met my parents and he told them, your son is a really great footballer, he has good potential. You send him for the practice, I'll ensure that he doesn't flag in his studies. I think that really turned my entire career around. That pushed me towards hockey. So that care that they imparted to us was instrumental in most of us really transforming ourselves or being impacted at a very young age. Xavier's gave me roots and then it gave me wings. Unless uh, I, I were a part of that Sangeet Mandal and that play and everything, acting wouldn't have happened to me. Something here opened it up for me. So this whole feeling of every day I can do more is the feeling I got in, in this college. There was a lot of emphasis on moral science, which I found quite good that I had undergone that training in ethics and discipline. I always owe them a big debt of gratitude. The influence they had on me in cultivating a sense of knowing the difference between right and wrong. I am what I am largely because of these formative years in school. And I can't be more grateful than I ever can be as I am time. I think the Jesuits have carved a niche in education that is unparalleled. They're throwing up artists, sportsmen, businessmen, just the sheer variety of people who have come through the Jesuit system is, is astounding. I hope you continue the education that you gave us. I think they're shaping the lives of millions of young children. I think the Jesuits have shown uh, infinite love. I think they should just keep doing that. If you just had a hall of fame of Sinsevarites across India, you'd need a stadium. And may the stadium that is full of alumni who grace this country just expand further and further to thousands and thousands of young minds who can be influenced by value-based education. We'd like to invite the alumni to become part of this mission of ours, to take education where the government is not reaching it, to collaborate with us in whatever way they can, because we need, we need this. It's important to find other areas of funding, and alumni have shown an interest and have shown a commitment to the institution. So our hope is that in collaboration with our alumni, we will be able to actually expand our educational ventures in India. We have great hopes for the future. Let us now profess our faith in our Lord and in His Church. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived with the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now bring our prayers and petitions to the Eucharist, praying for our needs and for the needs of the Church. Our response is, 
Lord, hear our prayer. Kindly repeat. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, bishops, priests and the religious. May they be a beacon of light to drive away the darkness of ignorance that lurks in the minds and hearts of the people. May they also serve as a ray of hope to those in despair. Our response, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Saint Ignatius Loyola strove tirelessly to fulfill the mission for which he was ordained. On his feast day, may we all realize that we have been ordained by the Almighty to impart the noble ideals and teachings of Christ. Our response, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for the Jesuit priests, brothers and sisters, that they may be given the strength and inspiration to carry out the task of uplifting the poor and the marginalized. Our response, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all the Jesuit institutions across the world, that they may continue to mold young boys and girls into men and women for others. Our response, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those afflicted by the pandemic COVID-19. May the Lord bring in healing and comfort in the lives of those facing emotional, social, psychological and financial hardships. Our response, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers we've made in our and the prayers in our hearts and to grant them in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. We will now go to the offertory of the Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever and ever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share my humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink, blessed be God forever and ever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and accept the sacrifice we make with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and that of all his holy church. Let us pray. Lord, receive from our hands these gifts of your creation and from our hearts the homage of our prayers. Help, Lord of infinite glory, help us to bind ourselves more closely to you so that we may find you more generous to us. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from our hands through the praise and glory of His name for our good and that of His whole Catholic Church. Let us pray. Lord, receive from our hands these gifts of your creation and from our hearts the homage of our prayers. God of infinite glory, help us bind ourselves more closely to you so that we may find you more generous to us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with you also. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, it is indeed right and the way to salvation to thank you at all times and in every place. You call St. Ignatius into the company of your Son, so that his love for Jesus might inspire the hearts of many to seek your greater glory. You chose him to spread throughout the whole world a greater dedication to your service and to provide your church with a society of apostles on fire with your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, the choirs of angels sing the praises of your glory. May our voices be one with theirs as they bow before you in adoration, saying, for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul for you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. 
Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Here remember all those Jesuits who have died and who have had an important part of your life. Pray for them and for their eternal peace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day, so that through the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of, the, the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us share this peace with each other. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, our Savior, who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, Happy are we who are called to share in his life. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under our roof. Say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God is dwelling in my heart. Joy he gives to me through Christ his Son, and with Jesus in my heart, what have I to fear? For he is the Son of God, in my heart he is near. Christians who are baptized. The Son of God, in my heart is near. We have come to the end of our Eucharist. 
I ask you now to join me in saying the final prayer. Let us pray. Lord, you have entrusted each of us with the care for our neighbor. Give us strength from this bread of life to show forth the riches of your love among Christ's followers and among those who have not yet found faith in you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. May Almighty God bless us all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ to love the Lord and to serve one another. Thanks be to God. Noble now, lead a life of bravery. Lead us on, oh lead us on. We will fight, need that spray, need that spray. Shun, we'll not quit this a noble career. We will fight ever true to death, to thee, true to God, to faith, and thee, true to thee. Lead us on, gallantly, never on, valiantly. Need the banner to fight for the church and its rise. All for God's own greater glory is our cry. Not for gain, nor in vain, is a strife in this life, but for God, who's our King, all our hearts to Him we pray. Growing stronger and stronger, as fighting lasts longer and purer and purer, to make heaven surer, with crosses and trials and many denials we stop. But to die true, loyal to our King who reigns on high. Ignatius, lead us on till we die. Miss Bhavna Merotra, the principal of the school, will now address us. A very happy feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola to everyone. Campion has always been a forebearer of Jesuit values and Ignatian pedagogy since the last 76 years. Ignatian values of striving for excellence, concern for the poor and the marginalized, justice and respect for all of God's creations are an integral aspect of personality of Campanites, whether old or new. St. Ignatius Loyola was a soldier, a mystic, a writer and a teacher. He founded an order, the Society of Jesus, renowned for education, missionary work, learning and devotional piety. The teaching of St. Ignatius are still relevant during these trying times, he often talked about two forces in our interior lives. One that draws us toward God and the other away from God. The one that draws us away from God, which he labelled the evil spirit, causes gnawing anxiety, sedence and sets up obstacle is this current pandemic. While the making of connections, though virtually in these present times, feeding the hungry, helping the sick and the needy, being grateful for the small mercies, draws us toward God and a righteous way of living. Here, I would like to quote St. Ignatius, To give and not to count the cost, to fight, and not to heat the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing that we do thy will. Ignition principles have inspired generations of religious leaders 
educators and students. May we continue to imbibe and live by his teachings. Now, on behalf of the management, the staff and the students of Campion School, I would like to thank Father Maran Pereira for celebrating the Mass. Here, I also thank all the members of the journal body, council of management and the parents who have virtually assembled today to celebrate this joyous occasion. Thank you and have a pleasant weekend. May the spirit of St. Ignatius always bless us all.